so Rene's test first of all what is it uh, it is a type of tuning fork test among the Rene's Weber's ABC and so on it is a tuning fork test and what we do here is that we compare the air conduction that is AC with that of bone conduction or BC so it is a comparison between them so how is it performed so usually we take 512 hertz tuning fork and first we place it over the mastoid process so the vibrating tuning fork is placed over the mastoid and the patient is asked to indicate when the sound stop so when the sound stop hearing the tuning fork is placed before the external auditory meatus and if so if the sound is still heard so what does that means it means that the air conduction is better than the bone conduction which is what usually seen so we can say that the test will be positive so the positive Rene's test is seen in normal people and also in cases of sensory neural deafness now if the sound is not heard before the meatus it means that the bone conduction will be greater than that of air conduction and the test is negative such cases are seen in conductive deafness a rough calculation can be made about the gap between the both based on the tuning fork so if it is 256 hertz tuning fork a 15 decibel 512 hertz means 30 decibel and 1024 hertz implies 45 decibel of gap so generally we can say there will be a minimum of 15 to 20 decibel gap now the false negative is repeatedly asked in exams a false negative test is seen in severe cases of unilateral sensory neural hearing loss so generally negative Rene's test is seen in conductive deafness but a false case is seen in severe unilateral sensory neural hearing loss so why is this this is because the bone conduction a increased bone conduction is actually a response from the opposite ear not the respective ear and this is occurring through transcranial transmission of sound now how to avoid it so the false negatives can be avoided by using what is known as a Baroness noise box on the opposite ear so this avoids any false negative by transcranial transmission so that's all for Rene's test